Uh, I am going to present before you a module of the activity that you will be performing on Global Community Day happening on the 22nd of October, that is a Saturday. The theme for this uh, year's Global Community Day is Financial Literacy. So I will start off with the uh, demo of the first activity. Also all the activities uh, that is being prepared for this particular day is by the NGO Major, which is in Bombay. So let's start on with the first module. First, you present, uh, you give actually a ch uh, children a plain board, uh, empty board basically, and then you invite uh, a child, every child after one by one, and asking the child to draw something on the board. For example, if the first child you invite comes and draws a sun, now you invite the second child to come and draw on the plane on the same board. For example, the second child comes and draws the mountain. Likewise, the third child will come and draw a river and the fourth kid will come and draw a boat. And the fifth kid will draw a tree. The children basically will be drawing what is there in their mind when they see a sun or a boat. At the end of the day, the, uh, each and every child's, each and every children coming and drawing one or the other things makes a beautiful picture. Hence, you give them a message in the end by saying that if we join hands together, we can make our world as beautiful as this picture. Thanks. Hi friends, the second game that we are going to do is called the money game. In the money game, you will be given a small kit. The kit will contain a 1 rupee note, a 2 rupee note, a 5 rupee note, a 10 rupee note and a 20 rupee note. 10 of each. Along with this, you will also be given a ball. Now, you have to distribute this note among the children randomly. After which, you have to give them some 2-3 minutes time to think about how they are going to spend this money. After which, you will take the ball and throw it to children. Hence, giving a chance to almost every children to speak about how they are going to spend the money. At the same time, you will also write down on the board, you will make a column of these uh, rupee notes and write down what, uh, write down the number of items that each, each children has said. For example, in rupee note, some kid has said marble, ribbon, ball, bat, etc. Now, it might so happen that the kid, if suppose five children has got, out of ten, after the ten children has got ten, one rupee note, six of them has said marble. So, you will tell them that how all six of them want it. Hence, only two of them can spend in buying marble, the money that will be located to them. Hence, saving the rest of the money. You will also, basically you will make them realize that how they can share the money with the partner to buy things which can be mutually beneficial. Also, at the same time, you will tell them that you do not spend the money, you will save the rest of the money so that they can use it for their further use, maybe for buying a marble or maybe for something else. In a way, you are telling them that how responsible spending and sharing will leave some money for my friend. The next game that we are going to play is called Fun and Picnic. As the name suggests, in this, you will ask your children and make and Tell them that imagine that they are going to picnic. Also at the same time you will request them to get a pen and paper for themselves each. Now, 
when you tell them that you are going for a picnic, you will also tell them that each of them has been allocated to be 300. However, if they need more money, they can borrow it from their teachers at 10 rupees interest rate. Now let's play the game. The first card you will show to them will have such items mentioned. It's called, in this, you will ask it to the children that out of the money that's been allocated to them, would they like to buy any of these items? If they are going with, for example, a pens, two pens plus five pencils, then they'll have to write, deduct 10 rupees out of the 300 rupees that, that they've been allocated. Once they select any of these items, you will show them the next card, which is the food and snacks. Again, you will give them an option. Are they hungry? Do you want something? And you will give them these options. Pizza, samosa, ice cream, sandwiches. Again, you will ask the children, do you want them or you don't want them? If you need any of it, again, deduct. If you want pizza, 45 rupees out of the 300 rupees. Remember, if you have bought something from the shopping, you have also deducted that amount of money. Now, the third one is interesting. The third case is emergency. Wherein the students have no choice but to spend. The emergency is that as the picnic bus needs urgent repair and each of them has to deduct 50 rupees from the 300 rupees that they have been allocated. Hence, again, 50 rupees gone from the money that's been allocated to them. Now comes the fourth one. Fourth one is again optional. Gift. If they want to buy something, they can buy. And the same procedure. If they buy any of it, please ask them to deduct the amount that has been allocated to the pro product price. Now, after this, you take the children to a fair. Now, this is free entry. All the children can go here, just free entry and they can enjoy the fair. However, if you want to participate in any of these activities in the fair, you can only participate if you have this much balance or probably balance with you remaining out of the 300 that has been given to you. If the children happen to save more than 50 or around 50, you can tell them that they have learned the Aflatoon way of saving money. You congratulate them and the people and the children who do not have that much of money with them, you ask them to save money and spend money sparingly and especially prepare for emergencies because that can never be avoidable. So, save money. Hi friends. Now I am going to tell you a story about Savita and Savita. Now, Savita and Savita both were given pocket money from the age of 15. Now what does Savita do with the money? As you see the chart before me, Savita annually started saving 100 rupees out of the pocket money that she received from her parents. Every year she saved 100 rupees from the age of 15. And to the time that she was 44, she kept on saving. Huh, she, she, went, she got a job, she studied, now she started saving more money. Hence, because she started at 15, she ended up saving 14,599 rupees. Now, let's see what did Kavita do with the money that she was given to her by her parents. This is Kavita's chart. As you see in this chart, the annual saving from the age of 15 to 29 is nil. She did not save money. She started saving money from the time she was 30 and she started saving 300. But till 44, all she could have with her was 10,485. So, who saved more money, Savita or Kavita? At the age of 45, who gets more money out of the savings? Have you saved more money, Savita or Kavita? At the age of 45 years, who got more money out of the savings?
Have you realized that Savitas saved only 100 rupees from the age of 15 years to 30 years and still she managed to get more means? If you start saving at a young age, even with less savings you get more returns. So, if you start saving late, even with more investment, you get less returns. Hence, this is another mantra of saving. Start saving early. Hi friends, now I am going to share with you a story about two twin brothers, Ramesh and Suresh. How they started saving and how much did they earn at the, end, at the age of 21. If we see this chart, this side shows the saving of Suresh and this side of Ramesh. Suresh and Ramesh both decided to deposit rupees 100 per year and kept it at 10% interest rate in the bank. They both started at the age of 15. Do you know what happened after 15 years? Suresh as decided kept depositing the money regularly but Ramesh only paid few installments. Ramesh thought what he was depositing was enough but was it? If you look at the table the money saved by Suresh is 1144 rupees and Ramesh's savings is only 745 rupees. So who saved more and who saved less? Hence by this story you have to tell the children that saving is important but saving consistently is very very important. When you will be given this chart there might be few rows of empty. Here you have to ask the children to calculate and fill in those blanks. 